Welcome into Texans today, everybody. I'm your host, Jeremy Chuggs, and it's almost here. We are less than 24 hours away from the 2024 NFL Draft. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Because I'm feeling it. And rumors are swirling around the Texans possibly trading back up into the first round. Huh? We look at those uh, trade rumors, and I'm going to give you some trade targets for the Texans of guys that they could possibly move up for. But before we get started, my goal was to get to 14,000 subscribers by the end of the NFL draft. Help me make that happen. We are the fastest growing Texans channel on YouTube. Free Texans videos all year long. Go down and hit that sub button. And my promise to you, give me one week. If you don't like it, all good. You can unsubscribe. No skin off your back. But let me prove to you why we are the number one Texans channel here on YouTube. And let's get right into it. Right from the source's mouth, Mrs. Diana Rossini. This is what she had to say in her latest column from The Athletic around the Texans possibly trading up. The Texans aren't on the clock until the second round, but I wouldn't put it past Nick Casario to trade into the first round Thursday night. I'm expecting Houston to at least try just based on Casario's history. He traded eight times last year and seven times in 2022. We'll see if he starts calling on Thursday. So a lot of you have said, oh, maybe the Texans trade back up. Maybe they make a couple more moves on Thursday. Maybe we won't have to go all through the first round without a Texan selection. Well, let me know what you think down below. Do you think the Texans are going to trade up? Give me a yes. Give me a no down in the comment section. Will the Texans trade up in the draft? I could see them possibly doing it. And I'm going to give you five names of guys who they could potentially be moving up to go get. Number one on my list, Kool-Aid McKinstry. Now, we know D'Amico Ryans loves him, some Alabama boys. And Kool-Aid McKinstry, he started off the draft process really ranked high on a lot of big boards, but slid a little bit from his combine and, you know, the, that uh, medical history that came up with his foot. But we look at his stats at Alabama the past two seasons, very consistent. Completion percentage allowed, the same last year as this year, 48.7, around the same number of tackles, more pass breakups last year than this year, and one interception compared to zero. But teams were afraid to throw to him, and he was an absolute cover blanket out there for the Crimson Tide. 32 tackles, zero interceptions, seven pass breakups for McKinstry this year. He's 6'1", 195 pounds. And like I said, D'Amico Ryan's from Alabama. Loves those Alabama guys. Loves the pedigree that Alabama football brings to the table. Look what he did with Christian Harris at the linebacker spot. You don't think he's trying to get a couple more of those blue chip guys from uh, Nick Saban's past regimes? I think this could be a possibility, especially if the Texans want to add another starting corner on the opposite side of Derek Stingley. If Kool-Aid McKinstry is dropping down draft boards, and if he's there towards the end of the first round, I wouldn't be shocked if the Texans move back up to get Mr. Kool-Aid. Oh, yeah! Next up on my list, it's Cooper DeGene, defensive back from Iowa. And he is somebody who not a lot of people are talking about, but a lot of draft experts have him ranked very high, very versatile guy, can play corner, can also play safety. And another, you know, kind of lesser talked about his game is his ability in the return game. Punt return, kick return, he was absolutely electric for Iowa this past season, and he has the skills, he has the tools to be a really good secondary player in the National Football League. Here is coverage stats from last season. Was targeted 46 times, only allowed 20 completions, 194 yards, five pass breakups to two interceptions, and look at that QB rating when targeted. 37.8. Cooper DeGene led one of the best defenses in the the uh all of college football last year and that's why i think if he's another name that's sliding down if he's there at the very end of the first round i wouldn't mind the texans moving up to get somebody like that i i still believe the texans need to address the cornerback spot i know they brought in jeff okuda cj henderson but i think they need to add another really good prospect a really good name to bring into camp to compete for that other starting spot. And coming up, I have three more trade targets for you. Three guys who could be, you know, on the Texans' radar once we get into the later round, uh, end of the first round of the 2024 NFL Draft. But want to show some love to today's sponsor, Game Time. Last-second tickets, 
lowest price guaranteed. Want to make your life like a movie? Well, this past year, Game Time has helped me do just that by helping me get floor seats to Adele and Drake. I would not have been able to see two of my favorite artists of all time if it wasn't for my favorite ticketing app, which is Game Time. Find exclusive flash deals and sponsor deals on tickets for football, basketball, baseball, concerts, comedy, theater, and more. And the Game Time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets and use Game Time. And when you use our code CHATSPORTS, that is C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. You can use it to maybe get some Astros tickets, maybe get some comedy tickets, some concert tickets. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, go do it today over at Game Time. One more time, download Game Time today and use the code CHATSPORTS. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Next up on my potential trade up targets, Darius Robinson out of Missouri. And I would be lying if I didn't tell you this was one of my favorite prospects in this year's draft class. I love Darius Robinson's game. He's a you know very versatile defensive lineman. And that's exactly what D'Amico Ryans has been looking for this offseason. That's something he said he really loved with the guys that they brought in, Danico Autry, Daniil Hunter. They have that versatility to play multiple spots along the defensive line. And I really do think Darius Robinson is one of those guys who can kind of fit in many different molds for this Texans defense. This is what he did last year for the Tigers at Mizzou. 43 tackles, 14 tackles for loss, 8.5 sacks, and one forced fumble. And whenever I talk about, you know, that versatility, this is his snap alignment while at Mizzou. Basically where he played along the defensive line. A gap, 102 snaps. B gap, 596. Over the tackle, 166. And outside the tackle, 403. So basically around the same amount of snaps on the inside and the outside, he can play all along the defensive line, and he is an absolute monster. I love the idea of moving up to get a Darius Robinson in this year's draft. That's somebody that I would like to move up for. Let me know somebody who you would want to move up for, though. Name a player you want the Texans to trade up for, or you can just say, I don't want to trade up at all. Let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section. Name a player you would want the Texans to trade up for. This one might be what a lot of y'all are typing in the comment section right now. Jerzon, a.k.a. Johnny Newton, defensive tackle out of Illinois. And he is regarded by a lot of people as possibly the number one, number two defensive tackle in this year's draft class. We look at his PFF grades from last year. I mean, outstanding. An overall grade of 84.9, run defense of 77.1, a pass rush grade of 84.1 on 749 snaps. He is an absolute menace on the inside uh, interior of the defensive line. And I think adding him would be another, you just, I mean, this Texans defensive line would be the best in the National Football League, in my opinion, if you added a guy like Jerzon Newton or maybe even Darius Robinson. And then this last name might surprise a couple people. Not been on the Texans' radar, not been on a lot of people's radar, but Troy Fatanu from Washington, the offensive lineman. Now, he did get flagged recently for some knee issues in his medical background, his medical checkups, but regarded by many as a round one guy, a round one prospect who can play guard and play tackle, was the left tackle for the Washington Huskies, you know, the Huskies team that made it to the national championship game. This past season, 75.1 overall grade by PFF, two sacks allowed, three hits, 18 hurries, six penalties, for Fatanu. He has that flexibility to play inside and outside. I really love him as a prospect. And I know what a lot of y'all are saying. Why would we trade up for an offensive lineman when we have so many needs? Well, if he is the best player on your board by far, if he's a guy that you had ranked in the top 15, the top 20, and he makes it down to 32, 31, even the start of the second round, I'd be hard pressed to be like, no, I don't want that guy. So those are my five guys that I could see the Texans possibly trading up for towards the end of the first round. Let me know what you're thinking. Once again, let me know somebody who you would want the Texans to trade up for. You can follow me on Twitter at Jeremy Chugs for the latest Texans news and rumors. Make sure you hit that sub button. And our chat sports main channel is going live for all seven rounds of the 2024 NFL draft. If you want the best draft coverage on YouTube, 
this is the place to do it. This is going to be the thumbnail. If you want to subscribe to our main channel, it's youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Our team here does it like nobody else. We'll have the picks before they have them on TV. So if you want the best coverage on YouTube of the 2024 NFL draft, you don't need to look far. It's right here with our guys here at chat sports. Thank you.